we got to bring it every day, right? We only have so many days before this ends. And so if we don't bring it every day, what's the point? It's about loving your teammates, making sure everyone's good. You know, players pick each other up. We've had an incredible alumni group that's come through. You know, they come in, they've seen these seats before us. You know, we want to live up to their expectations and the standards they've set. We want to work hard. We want to win games and having an energy culture of bringing each other up, not tearing down. And we strive to welcome all the new guys because we had multiple guys that have never picked up a stick or this is their first year playing. Inclusive energy was really a key point to this year's culture. Take control of what you can take control of. Determine the determinables. You push each other, not only lead by speaking, but also lead through actions. I am Justin Session. I am the assistant and defensive coordinator here at Mount Pisgah, and it is my second year with the program. We have a lot of new faces this year, kids that are new to the sport or came back to the sport that played previously, and we just had a lot of work to do from the beginning, and we put in a lot of work and it paid dividends later on. and we took those kids that were new to the sport or came back and, and gave them tough tasks. We, we took those kids and gave them a tough task in front of them and, and said, hey, you got a lot on your plate, and they took it and did everything they possibly could to be the best they could. That's the reason we do it, right, it is to build that family. That's why coaches coach. You gotta make sure every moment counts. When you're out on the field, you really gotta empty the tank every game, give it everything you have, work hard throughout the whole year, put in work in the off season, because you never know when it's the last time you could step on the field. It was one of those games where we came out really hot. You know, we've always talked about, you know, starting fast, making sure we carry that momentum. And even when there was a lull, you know, we were like, okay guys, you know, it's no time to panic. Get back on the bus, let's get back to work. And you know, then second half went our way. You know, that really stood out to me in that moment. It's like, hey, this team is starting to figure it out. Mount Vernon showed us a lot about our preparation for games. We came out hot, and I think our guys came out with immediate energy, and it showed. And then on top of that, we did hit our lulls. And when we hit the lulls, our guys rebounded, which is what every coach wants, right? So it's fine to have those negative moments. It's fine to have those down moments, but it's how you respond to them. And you come back and meet it with energy and say, you know what, next time, next time out on the field, I'm going to make a play. And you respond with positivity. And our guys did that. And I think it showed a lot about what we can do leading up to a game, and then what we can do in a game. Some of our starters had never picked up a stick before, from our defensemen to even some midfielders. When you see all these new faces come and join and they bring that welcoming nature and all of a sudden those kids are bought in, you know, their development shoots through the roof. Not having that, hey, we don't want you here because you're new, it's the, hey, welcome in, come learn, we'll help you, we got your back. That shows all year long. It's a great feeling to see these kids go out to the field and apply knowledge that they've gained through practicing. Being a part of this lacrosse program has been very cool to see how all the younger guys have come up, grown. Some of them getting their first goal. Shout out to Scuba getting his first goal. Same with Owen. We had a lot of injuries throughout the season, so they had to play a bigger role this year. For me, it's been perseverance. I've had a 
couple injuries this season, you know, I only played like two and a half games. So it's kind of tough, you know, you work so hard all year and you don't get to play in the spring. Not being physically on the field was tough to kind of be a leader. And then eventually I started still bringing the energy even though I was on the sidelines. Big juice guy. I was starting the energy bus before the games, uh, warming up the goalies, just trying to do everything that I could to get the team going. Get on it now! Know your job, know your role, and execute! I'm honored to represent Mount Pisgah, football and lacrosse. Just trying to push myself by pushing others so they can push me back. I would like to give a big thank you to the coaches. A lot of people don't understand how much work that they put in from it's the film room to editing, to planning out all of our practices and all the time that they spend, even on the weekends. It's just the work that they put in that helps our team to grow because we wouldn't be anywhere without them and the effort that they bring. Because when the players understand and see their effort, we want to match their energy and bring the same effort to practice that they do. I got to play the last game of the year on senior night. That was a special one for me. Big thank you to the whole Pisca community, coaches, players, my parents, all my family, everybody. But yeah, definitely empty the tank out there on the field. Three guys, small class, so I know all of them real well. These guys worked, right? They've just had a lot of variables in their career and they've overcome all of those obstacles to guide the guys behind them. You know, they've all had their individual unique experiences. All three of them are very different. You know, some of them were trying to earn playing time. Some of them were trying to find where they fit in on the field. Some of them were trying to find out how they were gonna be a leader. And these specific three have stepped up and overcome all of those obstacles that they had to fight and found exactly who they were by the end of their career, which is quite frankly impressive. Um, we went from having the one second and third grade team to now we have second, third grade, fourth, fifth, and a middle school team combined. You know, now we have that pipeline. And instead of having kids learning how to catch and throw in ninth grade, we've got kids learning how to catch and throw in second grade. So, you know, that development's coming, and that's what we're most excited about. Continue to work. I mean, we've got these three seniors rolling off. I'm excited for their future. You know, we've got one playing college across and two chasing SEC schools. You know, the guys who are coming back, Job's not done. We want to be in the playoffs. You know, the expectation is still high. The standard has been set. Now we got to live up to it. One, two, three, Patriots!